Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a video about the camera combination on the Xiaomi's Mi Note 10. In the unboxing, as we had said, this deserved a separate video for the fact that it comes with a Penta camera combination. That's a combination of five cameras on the back and the primary one being a 108 megapixel camera. On the front, there's an AMOLED display and on the back is this uh, setup of cameras. So let's talk about each camera, what it offers and uh, what are the sensors and uh, how good are the capabilities of these cameras and then we'll move on to the camera application to let you know what all are the possibilities here. So let's start with the first camera. It's not a 108 megapixel camera on the top. Rather, this one is the 108 megapixel camera. The first one that you see here is a 5 megapixel camera. Uh, it's actually an 8 megapixel sensor, but the center 5 MP area is what is going to give it the 5x optical zoom. So this is the 5x uh, optical zoom mentioned and this is the 5x optical zoom camera. So it's coming up with the outputs of 8 MP again with the upscaling done there. And uh, that's uh, the 5x optical zoom camera. The next one is a 50 mm telephoto lens, which is a 12 megapixel camera offering you up to 2 uh, 2x of optical zoom so in case you're someone who just needs a 2x of optical zoom that's the camera which is going to be you doing that when you toggle to 2x optical zoom and the third one here is going to be the 108 megapixel camera so let's talk about this particular camera here so it's called the isocell bright hmx sensor and it comes with the isocell plus uh, pixel type and uh, the sensor size itself is 1 by 1.33 inch so it's quite a large sensor. The fact that it's a large sensor means that uh, there's going to be a lot of natural natural blurring in the background when you're trying to capture a photo. Uh, there's no need to of actually going into portrait mode unless you need some deep uh, blurring done. Otherwise, the blurring that is naturally done is quite good because of the large sensor size. It comes with the f1.7 aperture and it's a 7p lens. It also has the 0.8 micrometer of uh, pixel size, but it actually takes advantage of the tetra cell technology so there are four pixels merged into one and uh, that gives you a final output of 1.6 micrometer of a size which helps in increased light sensitivity and when you're trying to capture photos with in low light conditions this camera is going to do a lot better job than the regular cameras so the final output that you see of the photos is 27 megapixels because of four pixels uh, making into one uh, due to due to that tetra cell technology but in the end 27 megapixel captures are not small enough and uh, still if you are someone who wants to take 108 megapixel captures you can do that with a dedicated 108 megapixel uh, mode that is given in the camera application this is quite slow in a way because of 108 megapixel resolution and the large resolution obviously uh, taking some time to save and uh, trying to again uh, adjust for the next capture it's going to take some time but otherwise if you're not switching to that mode and if you're uh, going to that regular mode of capturing it's not going to take any long time and there's also support for uh, uh, the laser autofocus setup here and next we move on to the next camera this is the fourth one which is the 20 megapixel wide angle camera it's a 13 mm width uh, lens and it's going to give you the ultra wide shots with the f 2.2 aperture here and the aperture size of the first two cameras that's the telephoto cameras were f 2.0 last one this small one is the macro camera so the f 2.4 macro camera with 2 megapixel resolution is what is going to do the macro photography for you and this is the final combination 108 megapixel plus 12 plus 108 megapixel plus 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel plus 20 megapixel plus 2 megapixel each camera offering its own purpose it's not only the megapixel count that is important here it's obviously important for the primary camera which is i mean uh, this should be the first camera or the first smartphone to have this camera set up in india and for xiaomi itself having so, so big number of cameras on a single smartphone this is something new that we are seeing from this company so this was the setup of the cameras now this is the camera application in a way it's no different from the miui camera that's uh, the usual one and this is based on MIUI 11 so you see a set of toggles towards the bottom these dots are uh, represent something so if you go to 2x what happens here is that it takes advantage of the second camera that is the 12 megapixel camera with the 2x optical zoom so that is the 2x camera now if you switch here it goes to 5x and what happens here is the 5x camera uh, or the first camera is going to get activated and if you want Xiaomi has also give you an option given an option of 50x zoom which is not an optical zoom but an uh, uh, digital zoom option but uh, this won't work well in low light conditions which is quite ex expected and obvious obviously and now going towards the left this is the wide angle camera it's a 0.6x that's a wide angle the regular camera is this 108 megapixel sensor uh, 0.6 and last one is this macro camera so the macro camera obviously is that 2 megapixel one and it uh, does uh, some good uh, focusing and if you are trying to get too close to the 
camera that's when it would try to focus and take a picture of uh, the uh, object that is about four to five centimeters from the camera itself so that's the macro camera so it's a combination of five cameras on the back now let's quickly check out the front camera as well so this is the 32 megapixel camera 32 megapixel selfie camera with the f 2.0 aperture size and uh, this is a selfie camera with the ai beautification that is present here and it also is able to take uh, full hd videos now moving on to the videos of the rear camera here what happens is this 4k uhd at 30 fps and this electronic image stabilization done with the 30 fps uh, videos on 4k it works decently well but if you want to take uh, videos with a lot of stabilization that's when you would see the super stabilization turn on and this would take uh, full hd plus videos and full hd videos is with the ois so ois is given here and ois support is uh, surely going to be helping a lot uh, but that is only with the full hd videos and not on 4k videos so you can turn this on or off uh, based on whether you want the video to be stable or not and uh, there are videos for short video uh, option for short video and the slow motion as well slow motion is 960 120 240 and 960 so 120 and 240 would be captured at full hd resolution while 960 fps is going to be captured at 720p resolution so slow motion is possible as well and apart from that there's a direct option for 100 megapixel captures so if you capture this one it does take some time to save it and then process it so that was the processing photo option um, message given there so this is the full 108 megapixel resolution capture you can see it was not uh, pretty close it's quite far still the details are well retained and uh, the resolution here is 9024 into 12032 pixels that's quite large and uh, now moving on there's option for portrait mode and uh, for portrait mode you can change the aperture size directly from here and you you can do that later as well in case you have captured a photo and then you want to change the aperture size you can change that but here you have the option of f1 to f16 there's a night mode dedicated night mode where the primary camera is going to be used and then you have the panorama mode and pro mode as well in pro mode you can actually change the lens to whichever you want these are the five lenses or the five cameras here ultra wide wide tele 2x tele 5x and macro iso can be changed from 100 to 3200 and the shutter speed would be 1 by 1000 to 32 seconds so these are the different options for the pro mode as well and now towards the top what you see are the options for hdr ai and also the filters under the settings you have these the quick settings would be for timer till shift grid lines grid lines is to make the uh, parallel uh, photos or take the photos in particular uh, in perfect uh, lines and under the settings you have these options you can turn the watermark on or off and you can correct the distortion in ultra wide shots this distortion uh, usually when you take the ultra wide shots towards the corners that can be corrected as well and you have these all options apart from that now if you go into the video and go into the settings for the same what happens here is uh, you see the option of image stabilization so this is uh, the uh, eis that is functioning for the 4k video recording and apart from that you also have this blog option this is something uh, cool and uh, new that we have seen actually i might have missed it out on the previous phones but you have options like this uh, so activities so these are segments of uh, four and uh, in a 12 seconds so you can capture this only in the landscape mode what happens here is that if you try to take a photo so this is the preview of the same so in fact there's a lot uh, offered here this log option is actually pretty cool and uh, pretty new that we have seen here and you have the option of 4k video recording at 30 fps and that's basically that about the camera setup here the camera options and features the full camera review would be coming out later with a lot of samples but let me show you a quick uh, couple of samples that we had taken i have taken only a few shots and this is in uh, actually low light or this is uh, at around 10 30 in the night uh, at one of the street eateries and you can see uh, the picture was taken pretty well this is the portrait shot with the the uh, fruits in the background there were they were quite well blurred and then you have the option of blurring the background based on whatever you need so just to let you know before we end this you can actually change everything here now come here you can have the aperture size changed you can see the background to be blurred based on the aperture uh, size here and light rails you can have the light rails here these kind of things they are uh, uh, all a part of the software but having that in the software is actually an advantage 
So this is how the portrait is this you would have seen in one of the iPhones uh, iOS and uh, so you have quite a lot of things that you can do here and this is another portrait you can see the uh, background blurred here but again you can change the uh, aperture size here and everything in the background would be blurred pretty well. So you can actually change the place that you need to blur. So this is all in the software side. But still, because of a good camera, that's the reason why you are able to capture, uh, do the editing well uh, because the details are quite well taken here. So that's it in this uh, camera overview of uh, the Xiaomi's Mi Note 10 Penta camera system and uh, the front camera setup of this smartphone. Stay tuned for the camera review of this smartphone to check out what it offers and uh, whether it's actually good or not. So that's it in this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to this one times for more. Thanks for watching and see you next video.